Welcome back to the Hourglass Sweethearts, Darlings, Sweetie Poos. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so, oh, almost tipped my chair over there. All right, so this is going to be Sunday Thoughts here on the Hourglass, where you could feel free to vent about any dreams, any ideas, any thoughts that you feel very restricted to reveal to those around you. It's fr Feel free to email me about it. You could go ahead and... Leave your testimony in the comment box. There is no judgment here on the hourglass. All right, so we're just going to freestyle today. Um, let me begin with one of my dreams. All right, so this was last night. I do have some channel messages that I got around midnight. So midnight, midday, midtown may have some type of um, connection with you. It doesn't have to be. It's just channel messages. It's not going to fit for every and every one of you. So in this dream, um, I'm walking through these corridors, glass corridors. It feels like it was my home. <laughs> I hope it was my home. And um, it's on a sandbar. Weird, right? It's not a beach. It's a, it's a huge sandbar. Has a few residents there as well. And there's a white platform with sheer curtains. Uh, it puts me in the mind of maybe a banquet or a wedding of some sort, but on the edge of it where the ramp uh, is there where you could exit or enter on. They had a few people that was very frustrated that this platform was on the, I guess you could say it's a big area. And they were really frustrated that this platform was there. I, I thought I heard someone because, you know, in dreams, you don't actually hear somebody speaking, but it's in your your thoughts and i actually heard someone said that it's illegal to put this this stage hey for any type of festivities to be hey it's, it's very unsafe because it's not um it's not a real beach it's it's anything is anything could happen the, this stadium could sink and i felt like i was hovering around these people they were all caucasian but they felt like tourist energy like maybe um, people that left that busy lifestyle in the city to like live like free and open and airy. Mm -hmm. So by the way, I'm a Caribbean girl. So um, I used to live around people like that, that came from the mainland and wanted to live, you know, in paradise. So they were considered uh, Tauruses until like maybe one or two years later of um, really settling on the the island so it felt like that energy but they were really frustrated that this platform was there but it was really beautiful and it looked like a preformed stadium but the people was really angry that this thing was on the bay so i don't know what's that about but anyway i have a few channel messages from last night um so i was watching these old um you know, I watch these old movies that come on really late at night, and it was this guy from James Bond. I can't remember the name of the show, but that guy that played James Bond was like this private investigator. And anyway, so at 12 o'clock, it was 12.02, and they started talking about, <clears throat> where is it? Yeah, 12 minutes to midnight, and they repeated it twice. So with me, my confirmations come at me twice and that's okay for me i'm gonna i'm gonna digest that shit up i don't wait for confirmations to keep coming at me in different ways i just need two um confirmations and i'm good so it says 12 minutes to midnight and then the phone rings in the show so some of you may be getting a call or you got a call at 12 minutes to midnight and remind you it was 12 or 2 hey when i was watching it so i can't i found that kind of freaky and then they said midtown park um, so some of that may have some type of connection with some of y'all that are listening. Uh, they said something about, um, then they talked about, and I'm hopping all over the place, but stick with me. Then they talked about some type of balance being 1243, 12,043 cents. And 12 has a lot to do with the hangman, um, inner emotional conflicts, law and order. And it mean, it reminded me of the Empress. Um, I think it was Revelations 12 verse one where they talked about this this woman coming from heaven with the 12 stars but it remind me of the empress card so i just wanted to fit that in there you know to break down 12 it's a three that talks about the holy trinity as well so i don't know some of you may be cartlick some of you may be very deep into 
um, the Bible, Bible thumpers, prayer warriors. But anyway, let's see. So a card just flipped in my lap. It was the dog, the dog card. So dogs could reference to Aries. I put that with Aries because Aries are very fun. They're very energetic. So you may be an Aries <laughs> or you have some type of Aries placement. All right. I hope you guys are doing great this Sunday morning. Um, my kids are not home, so we don't we didn't do breakfast this morning, but I usually do breakfast with my kids. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So again, this is Sunday Thoughts here on the Hourglass where we're going to be ranting and raving. So if you're not into it, it's okay if you click off and check out my other videos on the playlist. It's whatever, honey. Whatever. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. So we have the swans. Wow. So the swans is like a big um, symbolism for twin rays or lifetime partners um this is like true love this is like the heart and it's like a mirror and it's all it could also signify like a um a very sacred union wow and then we also have the jack of hearts okay as well that's equivalent to the page of cups so somebody may be feeling very romantic at this time we have two plus four is six that talks also about love about balancing you could also talk about healing for me i love the number six when it comes to love or self-love all right so some of you may be balancing out the feminine or the masculine energies within yourself to be more in alignment with pushing forward to your purpose in life beautiful all right so we have the traveler or the messenger it's, it could be either or but it's almost like and then we have the rainbow so it's like a promise hey you know the rainbow signifies Jah or god's promise right so it's like somebody's busting out some type of possibly bad habit negative pattern and they're busting out of that merry-go-round or that carousel ride where it's up and down up and down but you're you're constantly in the same place so you're moving but you're not going anywhere somebody's busting out of that shit could be busting out of these um poor choices in love for yourself you know and coming into more of alignment with yourself so you could make better choices in the people or the things that you do for yourself all right yeah so Oh, and then we have under the deck, the owl. So the owl has showed up in another video I did for my family because I do private videos for all of my family. Um, I sent it out as a group um, video for my family and the owls were present with the wise one card in another deck. And it talks about ancient knowledge or knowledge that's stored within the soul, that's buried within the soul. So the owls could also talk about feminine energy, mystery as well and also the, about the moon cycle so woo and then there are the three so we have one plus two is three which is a 12 what i've been talking about earlier the 12 right mm -hmm. hmm. so 12 may be a very powerful number to a lot of you that's viewing or it may be, become important to you in a, in a later date so um i feel like some of you are gaining some type of ancestral wisdom or you have some type of ancestral experiences that's buried deep inside of you that has a lot to do with breaking a lot of um, old habits or karmic cycles. Because again, this is traveling out. This is breaking out of that carousel, that <clears throat> merry-go-round. Uh, is a huge possibility that some of you viewers may have a significant memory of being on a merry-go-round or a carnival or a festival. All right. So maybe you met someone as a child at a carnival or this was your best friend that you used to go to a carnival with. And they may be traveling back into your life or coming back into your life. You never know. You never know. <laughs> um, this could also be same sex um, relationship as well. Nobody's judging you on here. It's just a matter of masculine and feminine energies. All right. And it's at times we could vibrate at the same energy. So even though you may be a male, a female, but the both of you are carrying masculine energies or feminine energies, and that sometimes could cause friction. So this is why we have the balancing out of both energy, the yin and yang, light and the dark. <laughs> 
So some of you may be pausing. We have the seven of diamonds here. So some of you may be pausing. You may be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This person could even be pausing, taking a break from life, really reassessing some things that probably occurred they're not happy with. So they're using some type of, um, or they're even, mm, they're even um, unlocking some type of knowledge or self-discipline some skills by sitting back or taking that pause looking at things reassessing things to see if there is anything to be approved there we have the nine of hearts also could be talking about moving forward to some type of wish fulfillment Ooh, darling all right so i wasn't ready i didn't clear the cards but it is what it is all right so we have poverty hmm the coffin and we also have occupations all right, so this is what I pick up here, you guys. And then we have the official person. person. <laughs> Some of you may have a New York um, deep accent or heavy accent here. I said person, person, however that came out. All right, so we have double digits here. This is a master number. This is the master, the master builder's number for 2020 this year. Take out the zeros, you have two, two. I do not break down master numbers, which is 11, 11, two two or three three that is a no no for me but that's just me every reader is different so with the master builders number that's coming in here it's telling me that somebody's stepping in their, in their divinity they may be moving up in status in life in job in businesses even with the relationship with yourself because that is ultimately the most important relationship with yourself all right so somebody's becoming official <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They're being recognized. They're being um, recognized for their hard work, their discipline as well. This could even be somebody who's coming back from the Air Force, military bases, hmm. the Army. Hmm. This person or you could have um, been in the military. Maybe you're retired. Maybe you have been discharged, but you may have came from a poor background or a poverty lifestyle. It was really hard knock. And, you know, being in the army or the military saved your goddamn life. It gave you some type of transformation. It leveled you out. Wow. All right. So I was talking about some hard work and here comes the occupations. Hmm. Interesting. So I do have some notes on this card. <clears throat> you know, sometimes when I get decks, um, the cards kind of speak out to me and I jot down some notes that I'm not finding here. But um, this could be a job that was very tedious, um, a lot of detail to it, I spent a lot of hours on there. So this may be someone that possibly been away for a long time because of their job status. And they may be coming back to you very transformed. They may have had like this lack mentality and going away somewhere they went somewhere that brought them into alignment this could also be somebody's coming back for a funeral a death in the family my condolences i know a lot of readers do not like to mention death or the death of a person in their readings but i have to say what i feel and that's what i'm picking up you know death is part of the journey and it doesn't stop there death could also mean um it's another door of going somewhere else. So this may also be the death of a situation, of a way of living, of a way of thinking, of a way of doing things. It's transformation. It's now burying something that's no longer working for someone or a situation. Somebody's stepping in to their divinity with the owl and the official person. You guys, 1222. <laughs> and remember what I said? It was 1202 when I saw those messages. Midnight. Didn't I say that? 12 minutes to midnight, kind of like familiar, it's kind of close here, not necessarily on point, but I am checking my notes that I got last night <laughs> because it was freaky. So there may have been an emotional conflict with this person and they had to go away. This is a very authoritative figure. This could have um, very much be with the rainbow and the official person. It's almost like this person has faith or they have built some type of faith here, faith in love. Hmm. So somebody may have taken a break with the seven of diamonds. They may have taken a break to, to fulfill some type of self-care or self-love uh, phase in their life to build faith in themselves so they could step in, in their divinity. They may have came from a very hard knock background where they felt like they were very bad lucked. Um, 
could have been famine as well, something that was generational or ancestral that was passed down to them. The way, you know, this person's parents could have came from a famine um, lifestyle and it was the way of living was passed down to them. <clears throat> this could be somebody that decided to do something better with their life. This could have been a person that was the first to graduate or the first to make something of themselves in their life. And they're very proud. I feel like a very proud energy coming from the official person. Uh -huh. With the sewing machine here, you know, sewing machines stitch things together. The, the thread, it holds things together. So I feel like somebody's willing to patch something up here. They may be sending you a letter or they sent you a letter. I feel like they want to surprise you, though. They want to surprise you with this transformation, this new way of looking at things when it comes to love, relationships, friendships, even family, um, relation, family uh, relations as well. There's a lot of faith and hope. Somebody's been working on something over time, and I feel like they want to surprise you with the results. I want you to be proud of me, mama. That's what I just heard. I want you to be proud of me, mama. So let's jump in. Let's bust down these tarot cards to see if we could get um, a little bit more details here. Remember, this is just freestyling. This is Sunday Thoughts. So again, feel free to jump down in the comment box. I do try my best to um, like and comment back, but sometimes it's like, the notifications on my YouTube thing is like all over the place. I get comments from videos I did from months back and I'm like, what, what's, what's going on? It's kind of confusing and I have to like really take my time here. Yeah, something is definitely over in somebody's life, a way of doing things. Like I said, um, I'd said in another video, previous video, what was done five to seven years ago, it's now ended. Whatever toxic, bullshit, um, negative shit that was going on, that season is done. It's finito. All right, because people are starting to wake up to a different frequency. All right, it's hard. It's a slow process, but it's happening none of a, none of the less. People are getting tired of going through the same bullshit. They're tired of the results. They're tired of this lack. You get what I'm saying? Somebody could have felt like they were abandoned as a child. Maybe this person was adopted and you had no idea. Or they felt like they were very neglected in a home life. They're no longer that boy. Or that girl no more. Okay, so they may have became an alchemist. They came, they turned their fears. They turned their fears into, wait, 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 wait. They used their courage to turn their fears into something else. This person became an alchemist with some type of ancestral wisdom. So maybe they had some deep knowledge about their family tree or the way how they were living, they may have been suppressing it for a very a long time and they're transformed, but it's like still happening. They got tired of the results that they were living in. It could have been a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Water Sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Now, I'm, I'm not saying this person is all peaches and cream or butterflies and rainbow. They still have a lot of um, kinks to work out here but they work very hard or they work, they're, they're willing to work very hard. We have seven, seven that talks about, you know, trusting your intuition a little bit more. Sevens could talk about commitment or being more transparent, looking at things in the long term rather than instant gratification. This person has learned um, that hard work pays. I just heard a master works hard for better results. Ooh. <laughs> so this person may have a very disciplined mindset they are willing to follow a chain of command. Very dedicated, devoted individual here. I've seen a lot of sevens, you guys. We have seven of diamonds. Three plus four is seven. Um, where else did I see it? Mm -hmm. The two plus four is six plus the one is seven. My mind is just going all over. I'm very receptive to numbers and patterns. I'm a Libra, so I pay close attention to um, patterns and designs. It just naturally comes out to me. Sometimes I annoy my damn self with it because it's like ongoing. I don't get a break sometimes until I tell myself, okay, it's time to shut down. Shut the shit down. <laughs> Somebody's at peace that they're leaving behind an old life. There we go with the seven. 
we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right. So we have confirmation with the Seven of Diamonds, Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Pentacles, this person could have come from a single parent home. Maybe the mom was um, a single mother and they watched their mom struggle and it kind of um, traumatized them in a bad way, but it helped motivate them to be more. So I'd, like I said, I want to make you proud, mama. I want to make you proud, mama. So somebody here that's viewing your kid may be coming home and you have no idea. I hope I didn't ruin that surprise. Oh my God, you better act surprised. <laughs> All right, so we have double confirmation, seven, seven again. Yeah, so somebody's trusting their intuition more. They have a little bit more freedom. They have did some type of inner study and they want to be more open with the people in their life. Maybe they want to help more. All right, and this is where we have the swans or the heart. So they may have a heart of gold and they're learning to trust their intuition more. So maybe they're putting up a lot of healthy boundaries, breaking out of a lot of negative patterns with the traveler, you know, traveling outside their boundary, seeing the world. There's more beyond my perception. All right, so with the Seven of Pentacles, it could talk about some hard work coming into fruition or things coming into fruition. Here, somebody's manifesting a goal or they manifested a goal and became an official person, authoritative person, possibly in the government. This could also be church issues as well. <clears throat> Maybe some somebody's mama passed away. My condolences. Mm, somebody mama worked too hard and somebody's son or daughter wants to show them that their hard work paid off by them changing their life. That's beautiful. You know, I keep repeating the same message, right? But it is what it is. Mm hmm. Somebody's wanting to reward. There's a lot of growth here with the seven of pentacles confirmation twice. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. They did a lot. They invest in a lot of research. Mm. Hard work paying off. Hard work paying off. Somebody's ready to invest as well. Somebody could be looking at stocks. Here we go with the queen of pentacles. This person could have been very gentle, a gentle mother, an understanding mother. Page of Wands. Yeah. All right. Let me see some more cards here, please. All right. Yeah. So there may have been a struggle here. Somebody's mama could have been very overworked, trying to provide for her children. And it's like somebody's coming back home to help with those burdens, to see how they could improve some type of um, struggle here. Somebody could have thigh problems or leg issues as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so with the page of wands, somebody's traveling. Somebody's definitely coming back or they're coming home. That could be a big thing here with the traveler's card and the page of wands coming home, traveling home. Mm. Yeah, somebody's travel somebody may be very excited about coming home as well with the page of wands. <laughs> mm. This person in the past could have been very um very impatient because I sense that with a 10 of wands. So they could have had a lot of impatientness in the past, but they're learning to discipline themselves or they're very impatient to come home. I keep getting coming home. For some of you, this don't even have to be your mother. This could be your wife. Um, this could be your husband that's carrying a feminine energy that's taking care of home, that's taking care of the kids as well. And it's like a reunite. Somebody's going to reunite or have a, a, a sacred union, a blessed union here. Somebody may be popping up because of a funeral. They didn't know if they would get time off to come home, but they are coming home. They are coming home and they're coming home with some type of spiritual gift or they're coming home with a lot of wisdom, a lot of um, knowledge. They have uncovered something deep within their soul that was that's there from a, from family experiences. Wow. You know, most of my readings are um, very spiritual in, in nature so if if you're looking for something that's spicy that's all about that tea that juice sometimes it's not like that 
but like I said, this is my mission and those that are um, part of that will flow to me and those that are not will find a different path and that's okay. We have the world card. So there's definitely, uh, this may be a fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, that has this very practical or grounded nature, very hardworking, nurturing person. And again, with the world could talk about, the world is a three, a number three card. That's weird. Break it down, it's a number three. Hmm. All right, so that's going to be a, a, a unite. I feel like somebody's going to unite Hey, I keep saying that, but I feel it very strongly. Hmm. Somebody's eager to see someone or share some news with them. It could be a fire sign as well. But it's like an end of... It's, um, it's a completion of a cycle and beginning a new cycle, walking through a portal here. Somebody's very proud of themselves or achievements, happy that they have accomplished something here. Or this could even be um, a step up in status. And it's like wanting to celebrate that with the ones that you love. Somebody's very empowered. Okay, so somebody's very empowered and they want to share that with their family. Whoa. Something great happened today. A great transformation. And they want to show those that's close to them how much they have transformed this accomplishments, this empowerment. Yeah. They achieved something that's beautiful and they're traveling to share this with others. They're coming home. They're, it's like a wholesomeness and they want to be with their family. We have the Knight of Swords. You guys, my window is open. I have children in the neighborhood that's playing um, all around the, the house. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, they want to rush in and see this opportunity. They may run into a bit of um, like a delay as well. Maybe the cab fare or the Uber driver took the wrong turn. I sense like the Uber driver took the wrong turn or there's some type of um, misunderstanding with the directions here. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, so for some of you, this may be a new person, a new love that's going to be very faithful to you with the white horses. We have two white horses coming here coming in very rapidly. So for some of you, if this doesn't resonate, you have successfully ended. You have wrapped up a cycle in your life that's now rewarding you with very loving, faithful individuals. Some of you have completely changed your past. It's like you may have came from the hood. I know I came from the hood. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing shame about that. Just as long as you don't let it um, hold you down, you know? You don't let the hard enough times or... The bad times trap you in that box, you know, with the death card showing up, the car, the coffin card. They're, it's like you're breaking out of the box, you know, you're cracking that glass ceiling that's keeping you in. Some of you are travelers or somebody's traveling. Somebody's definitely coming towards you. They're tired of the burdens or being... Um, they're tired of struggling, sitting back and assessing the situation. Some of you, this may be a past person that was constantly reassessing the situation between the both of you. And what was happening is they needed to grow up. They needed to mature. They needed to be more hands-on and grounded within them in their own life before they could give that to you in a relationship. Whatever happened between the both of you, it deeply transformed this person. I sure it did for you as well. 
And it's like they want to work on this. We have the occupation and the queen of pentacles. Some of you could be very hardworking, known to be very hardworking, and they want to repay you. Some of you may have helped this person become very official in their life, in their status. And now they're wanting to come in and have a good time with you. They want to bring excitement. For some of you, this person is very sexually attracted to you. Or there's some kind of sexual tension between this person. And it gets them very aggressive and even confusing at times because... This sexual attraction, and this could even be from the same sex and you have no idea. It's like they're sexually attracted to you and there's some type of sexual tension. This could even be somebody at work for your boss or for your co-worker that you have this sexual, uh, sexual tension with them. Like when your eyes meet, it's like, oh. <laughs> so it's like you get really like clumsy because the Knight of Swords could be very clumsy as well. They could be very um, impatient and clumsy, make a fool of themselves sometimes because they rush in very awkwardly. <laughs> Some of you are working with your true love. And, you know, being with you or being or working with you every day has caused a tr huge transformation. You may not even know, but you have... Um, Giving this person permission to close out a lot of negative patterns in their life, things that they were holding on to because of a lack um, in their past. They were struggling to put these things down. Some of you may be dealing with a mama boy. No judgment. I'm just saying that's just the first thing that came to my mind. Somebody that was always influenced by their mama. And it was very burdensome. It was too much. They were struggling. And f somehow you gave this person either some healing or the freedom to break out of that. Justice card. Woo. So you, I don't know. Somebody may come at your home, an authority figure, a policeman, somebody that may serve you papers. But with the justice coming out here, this could also be um, karmic justice as well. Some lawsuits, some of you may be involved in lawsuits and you may have to take legal action. Some type of contracts may need to be balanced out between a lover. Some of you, your lover may be in um, legal obligations or legal trouble. Some of you may be going through something and somebody in an authority position may want to take actions for you. They may feel like you're wrong. You may be wronged or they want to retaliate for you or you may re retaliate. <clears throat> you may be dealing with a Libra. We have the Knight of Swords. Um, could talk about a, a Taurus Gemini Cups or Gemini Taurus Cups. We have Sagittarius with all those wands there. Somebody could have been a bad mother as well and uh, kind of neglected a, a bad parent and could have neglected you as a child. And you have that has transformed you. It, it made you stronger. You became an alchemist and you took that bad treatment or those fears and you turn it into great ambition or great accomplishments. You let it fuel um, you to be better and you became an alchemist. Some people like to say the queen of pentacles could be a witch as well. Some of you might have a parent that's a witch, a warlock as well. And it caused you to really pause in life and really look at what you wanted for your future. So, you know, you came from a very dark background. It was very um, harmful. It caused you a lot of pain. It was very traumatizing. But you had a period where you were stuck there or you had a period where it, it was a burden to you. It was kind of hard for you to see your, your goals, to see your future for yourself. But you successfully overcame that. You, you have a lot of achievements and you should honor that. You should um, really be proud of who you are. Some of you may be Leos or have a Leo parent that was very like harsh or hard on you. Let's get some more cards. Oh, I have so much decks, I don't even know what the hell is going on. <laughs> All right, so let's get some notes from the universe. I haven't used this deck in a while. This was one of my first decks I ever purchased. So yeah, I feel like there's a little bit of confusion on what to do next in your life, but it's going to come to you with the justice. So it's a lot of things that you're, you're not aware of or you're trying to get 
answers to but with the justice card sometimes could denote that it's okay not to know everything that's happening because you have some type of um it's like you paid some type of karma because of your virtues because of your cur your courage your hard work it's going to pay off but you shouldn't worry about every little detail here Things are like balancing out. Oh, so with the number 12, it could also talk about the government or the government of God, um, where things are balancing out for you. So the courts, the courts of the heavens are balancing out things for you. And it's like, you shouldn't worry about it. For a lot of you, somebody did you wrong and they're gonna pay for it also. So you're going to get justice. You're going to get what you deserve and it's going to cosmically balance out. I did mention about the two plus four balancing out a situation as well. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. One card, please. And we're going to close this up. Did I see another card that... It says most people are just trying to survive. So yeah, this person, you may need to forgive the events that happen between you and this parent or you and this this person that may have had um, authority over you because of a lack of a situation. So you may need to forgive what happened between the both of you. Know that this person was just trying to survive. So at times when we're in that survival mode, we operate from ego and it's not really the healthiest way to go about doing things. But it's almost like this, this chain of events helped you to become you to come a better version of you it says just remember most people are so beguiled beguiled by your charm and awe by your confidence and inspired by your choices they simply forget to say thank you please and i love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge let let's not be one of those people <laughs> Thank you, please, and I love you like crazy. So yeah, you may have been dealing with someone that was kind of really hard on you, you know, really harsh, um, really didn't um, tell you how much they appreciate you or how much they are proud of you, but they're, they are. They may have came from a background where they didn't make anything of themselves or their life didn't become of anything. And you, by your choices, by the way that you came and you alchemized a lot of toxic or dark energy into light and positivity, they are in awe by you. I feel like the world card is you. This energy of being empowered, of accomplishment, very successful. You are heading towards wish fulfillment with the nine of hearts. Because of your hard work, it's paying off. Justice is hey. You know, with the swords up in the air, it's ready to take action, ready to go forward, ready to um, seize the moment. So you may be a person, and then we have the author, the um, official person with the sword as well, with the hand on the sword, ready to take action, ready to make a choice. Like I said, like an alchemist. And this person is very in awe of you. They may not know how to show you because they may have come from a survival energy where it's all about ego and, um, you know, keeping things inside. Yeah, so maybe you should forgive this person or be a little bit more compassionate. Ultimately, the choice is yours, right? So, yeah. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have, you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. So yeah, even though you may have been ill-treated in the past, somebody hurt, harm, or try to destroy you, you're still flying. You're still going through those portals because you have some type of um, higher authority on your side because you're choosing to operate from love. So we have one set of people, one group of people that's operating on survival mode. And then we have another group that's on the wings of love that's destined for greatness. So with the official person, you are destined for greatness. You are that master builder's energy with two, two. You're taking your dreams and you are putting them into reality. You have found your purpose in life. And some people just don't know how to acknowledge that. They don't know how to show support. 
and that's okay they'll find their way sooner or later right so we have angel number or light code one two one if you want to look that up that may have additional um, details for you and i think that's it yeah so um again you guys this was sunday thoughts here on the hourglass where um feel free or you know you could send me an email about any dreams or anything that any kind of ideas or thoughts that you may have been suppressing because you don't feel confident or you feel like you're going to be misunderstood if you voice that to um, people that are just in the survival mode that don't see past what's going on in front of them. They're very limited. Uh, they may be very narrow-minded as well. Um, so they're limited by choice as well. They just don't see the positivity like how you may be seeing it as well. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this spread, this read in hand, the hourglass. And I hope I see you in another video. Chat to you later. Ciao.